So now let's understand the key differences between Langchain and Langraph. So I'll take different uh, aspects and then we'll try to explain uh, the difference between Langchain and Langraph. So let's talk about the flow type, uh, how the process flow basically goes, right? So when it comes to Lang Langchain, uh, the flow type is linear. It is very sequential, only one way. The data flows in one way. It's not very dynamic. Whereas in Langraph, it is cyclic, graph-based. You know, loop is allowed. It, it, can, it can come back again asking an LLM, hey, did we do this right? If not, what else to be done? So that agentic behavior is possible in Langraph. And that is not possible in Langchain. And then state management. Uh, it is very limited uh, and it is very rich in Langraph, right? Uh, the memory for chat history is kind of very limited, um, whereas in Langraph, it is kind of very rich, full state persistent across the graph. And then conditionals, uh, can you have these conditions? If not this, that, if you can't do this, if if the, since we did not get the proper response for the user query, can you go fetch that data? Can you do, uh, do the tool calling? This kind of, uh, uh, this kind of thing is very limited uh, in the Langchain. And then whereas Langraph, it is very native conditional edges are possible uh, in the Langraph. And then loops are not supported in Langchain, whereas uh, it is it is fully supported um, in the Langraph. And then when it comes to complexity, uh, you can only build simple chains, basic chatbots using Langchain, uh, whereas uh, complex multi-agent systems you can build using Langraph. And then human in the loop, uh, it is very difficult to implement in Langchain, whereas built-in checkpoint support is also possible in Langchain, uh, sorry, in Langraph. And then tool calling, uh, one shot or basic iteration, that's only, that, that's it. It is only one shot, only one time you can do using um, Langchain, that too with a linear flow. Whereas in Langraph, you can have multiple tool calling at uh, different stages of the process, right? Sophisticated multi-turn tool use is possible in Langraph. And then um, the agent behavior, single reasoning step, you don't go back uh, in the Langchain. Like, you know, since it is very linear, you, can, you can't actually loop back to the previous step. Whereas um, it is very much possible, uh, multiple reasoning loops can be possible in Langraph. So these are some of the simple key differences. And uh, conceptually, if I have to say like Langchain is like do A, uh, then do B, then C, then you're done. So it's a linear sequential workflow, right? You can just build simple chatbots or even simple AI agent using this with only maybe one tool, which when the user query is very simple and it's not very complex or dynamic. Whereas Langraph is like start with A, decide if you need B, if so, if yes, do B and loop back to A again and see if, if the loop is correct, if uh, what we are doing is right. Keep going until condition C is met, then finish. So that's how the looping is possible in Langraph, right? The reasoning, the looping is much more sophisticated in Langraph. So when to use what? So you can use Langchain when you have a simple linear workflow, uh, like translate, text, summarize, and save to database. Uh, if, if, if you're doing something like this, then use uh, Langchain and even if you are building simple chatbot or simple retrieval augmented generation applications or systems, use Langchain, that should be good enough. And if you need quick pro prototyping, then you can use Langchain, like testing prompt templates, uh, simple